Hello everyone, George Rambler Man here. Hope everybody's doing well. You're looking at the 2020 Heritage Classic that I bought about two years ago. And uh, I finally, I think, have finished uh, <laughs> doing all the upgrades to it uh, that I'm gonna do. I really can't think of uh, anything else that I need to do on this bike um, or even wanna do. But I wanna kinda go over what I have done I'm going to share five things that I think are really kind of almost necessities if you uh, buy one of these bikes um, to uh, improve improve things and safety-wise and function-wise. And then I'm going to go over like five things that are just strictly uh, discretionary that uh, that I've done uh, that I like about uh, the bike. And and uh, I want to also kind of go over the cost with you. You know, I did a walk around this bike a couple of years ago when I bought it. Uh, it's a 2020 Heritage Classic. It's the 114. I'll give you a little quick walk around here, but it's um, you know it's vivid black. Uh, it's got the 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 motor, which I love. The motor's great. Um, you know it comes from the factory with ABS and and cruise control, windscreen, these lockable bags and is a is a really nice light touring bike you know if you're going to tour across the country two up and and uh you know be gone for weeks and weeks you might want a bigger bike but for the type of light touring that i do long weekends uh, this bike is more than enough for me let me go over the things though that i've done to it uh, and I, I want to also cover the cost uh, as i said i bought this uh, about two years ago it was the end of the 2020 model year and I think I got a pretty good deal out the door. Uh, you know, it was a little bit less than twenty thousand dollars. I think brand new ones today in twenty twenty three are in the low twenties. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I've done to it and <laughs> and go over the pricing. And uh, what I'm going to do in this video is, is show you how you can spend almost five thousand dollars in upgrades on a, on a bike that's uh, right around twenty thousand dollars, which is uh, is a lot of money. First of all, I want to go over the things that I think you really you really should do that I would recommend uh, that you do if you buy this bike. Uh, number one are the engine guards. As you can see, I've got the black uh, crash bars, engine guards uh, on the front here. And just recently, I added the the uh, engine guards for the rear saddlebags. You know, I think these are almost a necessity uh, for a couple of reasons. If you do drop your bike, uh, it will protect the engine, the saddlebags, and uh, the second thing is if you drop this bike with these engine guards on it'll be tilted up a little bit you've got a good chance of being able to pick it up on your own if you uh you know the bike doesn't come with any engine guards and if it falls over lays down and you're and it's laying flat on the ground it's going to be very difficult for you uh, to pick it up by yourself so that that's a pretty good investment i think the front bars uh, are about 253 dollars on the harley's website the back bars are about $276, very easy to put on, and uh, I highly recommend them. So that, that's the, probably the, the, the number one thing I recommend that you get done. Uh, number two is uh, the lighting. Uh, as I said before, the, the bike does come with uh, LED front headlights and driving lights, as you can see here. But the uh, turn signals and the front uh, are not LED, so I put custom dynamics uh, pro beam uh, turn signals on the front and I also put the custom dynamics rear blinkers and I also added a custom dynamics brake light uh, all LED so now all the lighting on the bike is LED uh, all total it was about uh, about $245 I spent for um, the, the the lighting and some of these things I actually negotiate as part of the deal to buy the bike, but if you had to buy them right now, that's about what you would you would spend. Uh, the turn signals I said are two hundred forty-five dollars. The the tail light is another hundred ninety dollars. So that's uh, that's what you're going to pay uh, if you uh, upgrade these lights. Uh, next thing I think is almost a, a necessity, especially if you're going to use the bike for any touring. Uh, the saddlebags are okay. Uh, they they look bigger than they are. Uh, if you're going to go more than just a, a couple of days, you're probably going to need some additional storage. 
And what I've done, I had a tail bag on here at first, didn't really work out that well for me. So I put the uh, sissy bar in bed and a, and a luggage rack on the back so I can put a, uh, you know, strap a bag to the uh, sissy. The, the, the luggage rack was about $192, and th this is an HD uh, Harley Davidson part, about $192 for the luggage rack and about $222 for the sissy bar and another $80 for the, for the pad. So that's what I spent. And I've got this very nice uh, Saddleman bag I'm going to show you uh, that fits over the, the, the backrest that I paid $135 for. It's not too big. It's not too small. I'm going to pick it up here and show you how it uh, goes on the bike. Okay, this is a Saddleman bag that I bought. And you can see it just has a, a little sleeve here. It fits right on the luggage rack very, very easily right there. Very nice bag. It's like I said, it's about $135 uh, from Saddleman. Uh, I like it a lot. It's got plenty of um, uh, space in it. Uh, you can put it like this on the on the luggage rack, or you can also actually turn it around and slip it this way. If you don't have a passenger, you can slip it right here on the back pad here, back seat rather, back pillion, and then have enough room on your luggage rack for even another smaller uh, bag. So that gives you plenty of, of storage capacity uh, if you're going on any kind of um, any kind of trip that's got any uh, any length to it. So I think you're going to need to upgrade uh, the storage uh, on the bike if uh, if you're going to do any touring at all. Let's see what else. I think that's about it for the necessities. You know, the, you know what I would call necessities. Uh, actually, you can order a tour pack, a big a big trunk from. Harley Davidson if you want. It's pretty expensive. It's about $750. I spent another $200 or so for a rack. Uh, so that's a pretty expensive thing, but that's if you want a big trunk on this thing, you can get it. I, I think it's too big. I don't think it looks good with the bike, but uh, it's available if you want it. Okay, that covers all the items I think are actual um, things you, should, you almost need to have uh, if you, you get this bike and doing light touring. Now let me go over some of the about, about five things that I've done to the bike. They're kind of optional, um, just things that I wanted to do, things that most people <laughs> will do. Uh, starting with the exhaust, I've got the uh, Vance and Hines Eliminator 300 slip-ons uh, on here, uh, which I paid uh, about $500 for. Uh, the Screaming Eagles Pro Street tuner that I used to tune it was another $369, and that's not you know, an absolute necessity. Uh, but I spent, you know, almost $900, close to $900 with, uh, with the slip-ons and, and the tuning. But it sounds, it sounds great. Another th optional thing that I did that I really like is the uh, Harley-Davidson Kahuna heated grips. Uh, I've done a vlog on them. You can go back and look at it. But these are the Kahuna heated grips. Uh, I, I love them. Uh, they've got a little dial setting here at the end of the bar where you can go from, from 1 up to 5. And they will definitely keep your hands uh, warm uh, in the in, in the cold weather. The windshield protects you, your body pretty much from the cold wind if you're riding in the winter. But your hands are out in the airstream, and these heated grips are, are well worth it, uh, if you ask me. I, I, I paid about three hundred and eleven dollars for the heated grips. Um, there's a little electrical connection kit you got to buy another forty dollars. So uh, you know, less than four hundred dollars you can get uh, heated grips on the bike and I really like those. Uh, another thing I did is totally optional. I put these Dominion mirrors on. Uh, they match the Dominion uh, uh, fuel cap covers that I've got here. I used to have Dominion grips but I didn't really like those. I uh, took those off when I put the heated grips on. Um, the mirrors are about $237 I think. Uh, not, not too bad. Uh, the next thing that I did that has really made the bike a whole lot more comfortable is this Mustang seat uh, with the backrest. Uh, again, I've got a video on the installation of this. Very easy to put on. You know, the stock seat on the Heritage is pretty good, but uh, this Mustang seat is uh, just another step up, if you ask me. And with the backrest uh, here on it, it uh, really makes uh, the bike uh, super, super comfortable. And uh, I like it a lot. Not cheap. Uh, it's about uh, $685 for the, um, the, the rider seat, another $280 for the uh, passenger seat. 
and uh, to match. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at about $964 all totaled. Uh, again, you can order them right from Mustang or from Revzilla, uh, places like that. And it's very, very, very easy to, uh, to install. Uh, and the last thing that I did is uh, this lay down license plate um, that I've got here. It looks good, when you, especially when you look at it to the side, the, the brake light kind of slopes back, the license plate uh, frame slopes back, and uh, I like that a lot. So that's what I've done to this bike. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, about 10 separate things. Uh, and if you look at the total cost, if you add everything up, uh, you know, I spent close to $5,000 on all these items. Uh, by the time I bought them, got them put on, some of, them put, some of the things I did myself, some of the things I had the Harley dealer do, but uh, that's what it cost me. So, you know, upgrading a motorcycle is fun. It's not cheap. But now I've got, uh, I think, what's the perfect bike for me. It's a, it's a great lightweight uh, touring motorcycle, great for just running around town in, and, uh, and, and, and I like it a lot. So that's it. Uh, hope this uh, helps you and gives you a little information. If you have a heritage or thinking about a heritage, maybe what some of the options you have uh, for upgrades and what it's going to cost. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll put a link to all these items uh, in the comments uh, so you can see where I got them and what I paid for it. Overall, I'm very happy with this motorcycle. That's it, guys. Have a great day. This is George Rambler Man. Everybody ride safe.